Guys, someone just asked me, if heaven is real, what do you hope it'll be like? And I thought, well, I'll just make a list of annoying things that I hope are not in heaven if I do go there. <clears throat> Kids crying in public. Computers freezing. Delicious food making us fat. I gained so much weight this summer, there's no way I'm going to fit into my Sailor Moon costume this Halloween. Restaurants are annoying. Why do restaurants hire attractive people? I would order way more food if I didn't feel like I was being judged by supermodels with trays. Girls falling head over heels for musicians is annoying. Although, if I was a flying squirrel, I definitely would fly around with girls on my back singing, A whole new squirrel! A new fantastic point of view! It's annoying how cartoon monsters always use such bad grammar like A monster wants to play or Monster hungry Read a damn book, monsters. That's not how you say things properly. It annoys me when the kitchen sponge is still wet from yesterday and I have to wring out the cold, dirty water onto my hand. It annoys me when I'm washing a spoon and it sprays me in the face like your mom did last night. And it annoys me when a stranger's tag is sticking out of the back of their shirt. I always want to fix it so bad. But that's creepy. They don't know me. So instead I just get on the ground and lick their kneecap. <laughs> Nothing. Cut that part out. I'm extremely bothered by those guys who act like they're the only person in the room. Like they're the only mother friggin' jelly tot on a plate full of mother friggin' broccoli. Whatever though, you can't blame them. Crickets make loud annoying sounds to attract a mate. So do drunk idiots. It's annoying when people don't do their share of group work. Like when your teacher partnered you with that kid who hits people with his ruler and pokes people with his drafting compass. Or like my kindergarten religion teacher once taught me that all of Earth's creatures are made out of clay by angels in heaven. Well, if that's true, the angel in charge of making worms is a lazy bastard. Boom, another worm. Boom, another worm. How's that duck-billed platypus going? I made like 50 billion worms today. Boom, frig I rule. Frig. Now guys who make rude jokes in public annoy me. And now I say that, but I wrote a pretty rude joke today. It goes like this. <clears throat> Girl, you can call me Phil Collins because I can feel it, I'm coming in your hair tonight. I'm sorry, that was rude. Hold on. It's annoying getting birthday cards without money in them. I'm going to make a birthday card that says happy birthday on the outside, but on the inside it'll say and death day, and it'll spray out a little poison from a tiny tube. And I know women with bad tempers annoy a lot of people, but I like dating crazy women. They remind me of carnival rides. I know they could break down at any moment, but that makes it a bit more exciting. But remember folks, annoying people are just friendly reminders for how not to act. And you know, I never thought that I'd say this, but marigold, churn nugget, sat pickle, marble, fat nipple bubble, parrot, frog, batty, 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 barbecue grape. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, it's going I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, so maybe what you're seeing right now is a result of my sickness. Oh, and I forgot to say. WTF? Where's the food? TGIF? That girl is fine. There needs to be a razor commercial for guys with plus size jaw lines. Not all of us are a size zero. You see? What about my f***ing curves? What about a guy with curves? Monster want a shaving kit that is accurate to Monster's monsterly figure. Bruh.